sensei, being a man of few words, and fewer words in English, has decided not to say anything, but he's still planning and hoping to offer the Shahoburai while he is here in Halifax, if it's all possible. It occurred to me that this is not rain at all. If we look back 30 years, some of us can recall Trungpa Rinpoche saying that so many things were possible. Some of us recall looking at this citadel and saying, could it ever be that Shambhala could manifest fully and completely and beautifully in this lovely land of Nova Scotia? And lo and behold, the very first Mossang ceremony I actually did in Nova Scotia uh, was with my father when we visited here. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, the weather was exactly the same as today. And I remember it being bitterly, bitterly cold that he had this incredible grin on his face. And uh, it was very heartwarming. And after that, he very much decided that uh, he would want to live here. And that's why we're all here. <laughs> I don't think it's just myself in a sense of um, marriage, but it is um, uh, many of us coming together and being able to practice these important teachings of wisdom, uh, peace, and uh, harmony and, uh, at this particular time. And I think part of what we're trying to do is uh, be courageous in, uh, in spite of aggression and uh, many obstacles. And hopefully this awesome is an inspiration for people to be able to go forward in their life and uh, do good things. And I very much appreciate people coming here. And uh, many touching delights may everything be auspicious from this time onward. Thank you.